Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, apps for elementary math. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today we talk, we're talking about elementary math apps. And the first one I want to talk about is Khan Academy. Now Khan Academy is quite famous and uh, has been around for quite a while, but what I love about it now is they've added multiple features including a lot of practice, so it's worth going back to. Let's go into fourth grade and look at um, something specific and you can see that they've organized them in a sequence so you can see uh, let's do the place value warm-up and this is a video so you can watch the video and you can share it you can s sign in and then save progress so you can see what you've done and what you haven't done so when we look at what's being offered you can see on this page everything that has a triangle is actually a video and everything that's got a star is a practice so what i want to show you and what's really new besides the fact that the sequence is very well organized are the little practices so you can see this is multiplying four digits by one digit and start practicing and what you can see is you've got a question on top and then you've got a, a question for uh, rectangles A, B, C, and D, and that is the decomposing of the 1863 into three separate ones, and you can see the example on the bottom. So the first one is A, and so A is, and you can write the answer like this, so the input is very, uh, works very well, and B would be 800, and C would be 60, and D would be 3, and then the whole thing together is 5, 8, 6, 3, and then you can check. And you can see that what you have to do is get three correct in a row, and you can go to hints, or you can see videos, so let's go to the hints, and I've got 5 times 1,000 uh, is 5,000, and it's decomposed there as well. 800 times 5 uh, is 4,000, that's a mistake I made, right? So this is gone, and I'm writing 4,000, so you can work with hints, right? And then I've got... 315, so I was completely off. So you can erase 300, you can erase and write 15, and now add again, and that would be 9, well, 9, three one five and let's check this one and it's correct so you can see how it reacts when you make a mistake how it can guide you and the fact that it can also take you back to a video that explains exactly how it's done so there are multiple layers here lots of practice possible and it will if you log in keep your progress and keep your previous scores so teachers can actually see what you've done. And there is a feature where the classroom or the school can uh, make a, an account for the whole uh, school and then track everybody's progress through it. But even if you're working at home and working with your own child or tutoring somebody or working in your classroom and somebody needs extra help, this is a way to provide that help. Of course, if you want to flip your classroom Khan Academy uh, is really done with that in mind. So this is a way to use Khan Academy and all of the features that they've added over the last few years. The next one I want to talk about is IXL. IXL, you can see, has a grade level specific material. And again, you have to check that it actually fits what your school or your classroom is doing. Or if you've got kids that can work forward or kids that need some more practice to catch up, you can go one grade below or above to make sure that they're there. But let's check again the fourth grade um, edition. 
app, add numbers to the millions. And now you can see that there's an exercise and you can uh, submit and this would be um, um, nope, this is eight, and this one is eight, carry over one, and this one would be three, and this one would be carry over one, that would be fourteen, four, and a one. And now let's submit. And that is successful. So you've got a few measures here. You've got a time measure, you've got the score, you've got the number of problems you have all on the screen. You can use this to actually do the math yourself. So you can uh, write on top, this would be a two, this would carry over a one and all of that. So you can do all of these things. You can also erase and all of that. So you can actually interact with it just like you would with a piece of paper. You don't have to do it like I did in your head. So this is Math uh, IXL. Again, you can get an account, you have to pay for it, and then it'll save everything, but you can do a lot of practice without paying for anything at all. It is free to download. MathDuel is a great way to get kids to practice against each other. The menu allows you to check, to, uh, to look at what exactly you are reviewing, and the way this one works is there are one, there's one player or two player, I'll show you the two player one. Each one of them gets a problem, they answer it, and the other side answers it, and it's basically to see who gets more correct, uh, kind of like tug of war kind of thing. The measure in the middle moves as uh, you get more correct than uh, the other person until uh, you win, so let's see that. Uh, we'll just make one side win. I'm pretty sure I can beat myself. And you see this side won because the bar went all the way their way. It's very good for practicing fluency. Obviously, if you don't need kids to be practicing fluency, then you don't want to do that. One of the things I love about this is you have settings and these settings can be different for the two players. So uh, you can handicap it just like we do in golf and have one student have the questions a little bit harder than the other students just to make sure they're on an even uh, playing field and practicing the things they should practice. Uh, which is a great feature in MathDuel and I highly recommend it when you've got kids who already know what they're doing and just need to practice fluency to getting uh, things quickly. The last one is one that I've talked about before and that is uh, to do math which I love personally and I have a birthday but it's considerably before that. Let's see what we want. We want kindergarten preparation. And so we can, you can see that there's a path and this is again was added as part of the new to do math. They've added curriculum and they've added a path. And so you go to something like this and this is number tracing. And this is the number one. And now you count one and one and two and then you trace the number. So even when you're doing tracing, you're actually practicing the function of those numbers, not just randomly tracing things, but actually knowing what the meaning is. So this will build over time, give rewards, and make sure that you go through levels so you're really gamifying that idea of learning math and encouraging kids to practice on their own. Again, you can use it in this classroom, you can use it as homework, you can use it at home as parents. So this is to do math, lots of abilities. You can actually get many grade levels and while there is a path, they can also use free choice and then practice whatever they need or whatever they would like to. And I've seen many kids use some of these websites and this specific uh, app to really practice on their own. They find it motivating, they find it fun enough to do, and they are getting better at math. So this is to do math and I highly recommend this one as well. So today we talked about some math apps that really help elementary students gain those basic skills and gain fluency. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom. <laughs>